Our lesson for this video is representing real-life situations using logarithmic functions. To make measurements with wide range of values easier to handle, logarithms are particularly useful. Some of its applications are the Richter scale for measuring the magnitude of earthquakes, the decibel for measuring sound intensity, and pH level for measuring acidity. The magnitude R of an earthquake is given by R equals 2 third log of E over 10 raised to the power of 4.4 T, where E is the energy released by the earthquake in joules, and the quantity 10 raised to the power of 4.4 T is the energy released by a very small reference earthquake. Sample problem, suppose that an earthquake released approximately 10 raised to the power of 11 joules of energy. What is the magnitude on a Richter scale? We will use the formula of the magnitude R of an earthquake. Since the energy released by the earthquake is 10 raised to the power of 11, then let us substitute this to the formula. To solve this, let us apply one of the laws of exponents, quotient of powers. This states that in dividing two powers with the same basis, we subtract the exponents. 11 minus 4.40 is 6.6. .6. When the base of a logarithm is not written, it is understood to be 10, and it is called common logarithm. This is equivalent to log of 10 raised to the power of 6.6 .6 with base 10. One of the basic properties of logarithm is that log b to the power of x with base b is equal to x. Since in our problem, the bases are equal, Log 10 raised to the power of 6.6 .6 with base 10 is equivalent to only 6.6. .6. Multiply 2 thirds with 6.6. .6. You may solve that in your calculators. 2 divided by 3, then multiply the answer with 6.6. .6. The result will be 4.4. Which means that the magnitude of the earthquake that released an energy of approximately 10 raised to the power of 11 is 4.4. Next, let's proceed to decibel which measures the sound intensity. It is given by the formula D equals 10 times the quantity of the logarithm of I over 10 raised to the power of negative 12 per meter squared. And 10 raised to the power of negative 12 is the least audible sound a human can hear. Sample problem, the decibel level of sound in a quiet office is 10 raised to the power of negative 7 watts per meter squared. What is the corresponding sound intensity in decibels? We will use the formula for decibel, and since the given sound intensity in the problem is 10 raised to the power of negative 7, then let us substitute this to our formula. This will become 10 times the logarithm of the quantity of 10 raised to the power of negative 7 over 10 raised to the power of negative 12. To solve this, let us apply the law of exponent quotient of powers. Since the bases are equal, then we have to subtract their exponents. Negative 7 minus negative 12 is... 5. And since there is no written base, this is a common logarithm with base 10. Since the bases are equal, then log 10 to the power of 5 with base 10 is equal to 5. 10 times 5 is 50. This means that the decibel level of a quiet office with a sound intensity of 10 raised to the power of negative 7 is 50. Let's proceed to the pH scale that measures the acidity level. The formula for the pH level is given by the negative log of H+, where H+, is the concentration of hydrogen ions in the solution in moles per liter. 
In our problem, a 1 liter solution contains 0.0001 moles of hydrogen ions. Find its pH level. Let us use the formula. Then let us convert the given 0.0001 to scientific notation, which is equivalent to 10 raised to the power of negative 4. We just have to move from decimal point 4 decimal places. Let us substitute 10 raised to the power of negative 4 to H+. Plus. This will be pH level equals negative log of 10 raised to the power of negative 4. Since there is no written base, this means this is a common logarithm and its base is 10. Then, based on the basic property of logarithm, log 10 raised to the power of negative 4 with base 10 is equal to negative 4. Negative times negative 4 is positive 4. This means that the pH level of a solution that contains 0.0001 moles of hydrogen ions is 4. I hope that you understood our lesson for this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.